this is really a wonderful experience. It's a great opportunity to get to know the different cultures that are present in our churches. There's so much potential for real interconnectedness. It is my privilege to welcome each and every one of you to this Catholic Cultural Diversity Network convocation. We are many parts. We are all one body. That theme echoed on the campus of the University of Notre Dame on May 6th, 7th, and 8th, 2010, as the Catholic Cultural Diversity Network Convocation gathered people representing the many cultures and races that constitute church membership throughout the United States. Convened by the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops through its Committee on Cultural Diversity in the Church, the convocation created an atmosphere of dialogue and collegiality. The work of this convocation is really to look at the diversity that already exists in the church. And what we're hoping to see out of this conference is how we can become more effective about drawing on the talents and the aspirations of our diverse ethnic communities. The convocation opened with prayer and cultural sharing from across six different families, each with their own history, traditions, and pastoral needs. African American, Asian and Pacific Islanders, Hispanic, Latino, Native American, European American, and a distinctive group called migrants, refugees, and travelers. We are a people that is willing to put all trust in faith. It's so easy to judge and to look at the differences, but hearing them and being passionate about the same things that I'm passionate about just has brought about uh, this desire to look at the similarities, to enjoy the similarities. The focus of the second day was dialogue. Participants met first with their self-identified families to share their own cultural and spiritual history. What impressed me was the degree of commitment, the deep commitment of faith that each of the groups expressed. We do have a strong sense of solidarity with one another that is related to the faith that we share in God. We can learn a lot about other cultures by learning more about our own, which is something that I just didn't expect to have happen. I think there's a difference between being black and being black Catholic. The families then dispersed to mixed groups to share what each had learned and to discover common ground. We don't call ourselves Hispanic. Each family then met again to review any insights learned from the other cultures. We are the descendants of uh, people of faith. We're having the same struggles. How can we help each other to find a way to overcome them? The concerns are the same, but they have different contexts, and the culture is the context. Every community has a very strong desire to get closer to God and to Christ. All meetings were carefully recorded by pre-selected witnesses. To serve as a witness for me was very humbling and, and also very enriching. The witnesses, uh, our role is to listen, first to listen, and then to relay what we have heard to our respective cultural families, and then communicate that consensus back to the broader assembly. Danos la fortaleza. The celebration of Mass in the Basilica of the Sacred Heart emphasized unity among diversity, honoring diverse liturgical traditions while gathering together around the altar of the Eucharist. A panel of bishops then shared their insights from the day's discussions. There was such honesty and such openness and humility on the part of everyone who shared. The thing that centers all of us is the fact that we believe that the Lord Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be with us. Listening to what has been said today, it's just not top down, it has to be bottom up. So Leadership has to be identified on the local Hispanic level. Students. We identified two particular areas of focus. The, first the convocation the closed with the witnesses sharing their findings and, and offering recommendations to address the future of cultural diversity in the church. It's not a question of their assimilating into an American mainstream as much as it is uh, of bringing to the American mainstream their gifts, their experiences, their talents.
We are many parts. We are all one body. This multicultural event embodied the reality of the church's cultural diversity, recognized its blessings and gifts, and challenged church leadership to further integrate and develop the many cultural expressions present already in the body of Christ. Coming together like this does spark energy and then things can happen. From this convocation we can continue this dialogue and we can continue to work together in the United States. We will be able to interconnect and share what we have experienced here with the wider community when we go back to our own faith communities.